All right, so we're back at it. Um, so what we left off on solving for x, we need to know the exact distance because we know that where this line actually intercepts our x-axis is where the peak of the moment, which is your maximum moment. Uh, for you to solve for this x, you have to refer back to this formula right here. Okay? So you take this formula and we'll go back into... To solve for this x, that means at 0, when this whole and this side, when it's equals to 0, is exactly the location where we're going to find x. So what I'm going to say here, 0 equals negative 1 third x squared plus 9. Take everything else, you got negative 9 third x squared, you eventually will be left out with x squared 27, x would equal, let's say, plus or minus square root 27. In our case, we know it's positive, so we take this out of the way. So this is your answer. Um, you do the math. I'm not sure exactly what the location. I believe it'll be probably 5 point, um, say 5.2. So this distance right here, our x, is equal to square root of 27. All right? Once you know that, we will drop it down exactly where we see right here. Okay, so somewhere here is going to be my peak. In our case, now we go back into the moment um, formula. You already have the formula, so you plug it in. So I will say here m um, square root of 27, negative 1 over 9, square root of 27, cube plus 9 times square root of 27. You do the math, you'll get a point somewhere here, and this is going to be our maximum. So whatever this answer is, is your maximum. And now what we have here, we have positive, but it's decreasing. So we go back into here, positive decreasing. So you're looking at, this should look like so. Positive decreasing. Now you look back into here. At this point, you have negative increasing. So it's negative increasing, negative increasing, and it will go like so. Okay. There you go, guys. This is your shear diagram and your moment diagram. Hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck on your final exams. And uh, please subscribe. Thank you. All right, just in case you wanted to know what the answer here. Uh, basically, once you solve this, uh, you should have, uh, let's say, roughly uh, 31.2 kilonewtons. So this point right here, your maximum is 31.2 kilonewtons. And if you wanted to know how we figure it out, you go all the way to the zero. Obviously, all you have to do is plug in for x9. This is your total distance. So if you do this back again, if you take this formula and you do m of 9, your total answer should be equal to zero. And this is the best way to verify your answer. If m to that 9 does not equal zero, uh, based on this uh, problem, most likely uh, you're, you're going to run into a problem. You have to go back and forth, uh, go back into your steps and solve the answer. All right, good luck.